we're over at Charlie's and I'm sexing his African house snakes. So I'm going to show you how to sex tiny little snakes with uh, the popping method, a really gentle way that works pretty easily. And this is a mama African house snake. So the babies actually come from this girl. She's in shed right now. She's also head albino. So we got some really cute babies and this is how big they get. This is a producing mama. So isn't that pretty cool? One of these subscribers was asking me about how to uh, handle the little snakes or get them out. So you'll see with each of these how I take them out really nice and gently. Here's the gorgeous dad and look at how tiny he is. But this is a perfectly fine producing male. There's no need to crazy feed them and get them all fat and stuff. Nice and lean. Usually they get the job done perfectly fine. What's his name? I haven't named him. His name is King Solomon. Okay. <laughs> he's had many wives. He's had many wives. <laughs> That's why he's King Solomon. <laughs> Very wise. And many wives. And only produced one clutch. So they're very easy to breed, but the babies are a pain in the butt to feed. I think they actually might be the hardest reptiles to get started. Yeah. All of my boas ate on their first, they all ate their first meal. But yeah. my African house snakes sometimes take a year to establish and that's why I charge 300 bucks each usually. Well, I have the, also the black ones. They, they, I think they should be, there's just not a lot of people working with them and I, I really think it's because getting them to eat is such a bloody nightmare. I got a playlist all about them to help you out with all that stuff anyway. Well, once they eat. Once they, they get going, they're great. They're savages, <laughs> can't keep up. Today we're going to be sexing Charlie's little African house snakes. These are also available and they will be on the site eventually. They're so cute. This is Charlie's little project. He has these beautiful little African house snakes. I have the black ones and he has these guys. <laughs> so cute. Lots of the time they say you can just kind of look at these and know, but I still like to pop them. And they might not like this. They might uh, make a little poop, a little pee pee. But first thing that I always do is I put pressure here. See, there's a little bit of pee. And then I grab the tail and I, I gently roll it up. And yeah, they gotta go to the bathroom a little bit. You have to be very, very gentle when doing this because you don't want to hurt them. Okay. See that thing coming out? The white thing? No, no. The right, I don't know if you can see it. Watch, it's gonna go pop. There it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a boy. I'm gonna stab it with the pen. Boy. All the normals are available for 200? Yeah. And then These the are, they're het albino. Okay, and then the albinos are 300. Just a quick sneak review. So this one only ate once on its own? Yeah. Ah, that's beautiful. If it's a female, we gotta, we gotta keep the albino female because you have an albino male. <laughs> you yeah. see that little thing? He's a feisty girl. Yeah, so. Someone was also asking hold, how to grab these, so you can see how I gently grabbed them. This is so beautiful. <laughs> So I always support it. I grab the mid body, I support it, and then I get underneath, I make sure it's upside down, and then I get that butthole. There's the butthole right there, and I apply pressure right behind it. Ooh. See, with these guys also, the females also sometimes have a little bit of something that comes out that's a little bit red. Yeah, no, that's a male. That's a male. Yeah, you can see the little thing come out. That's a boy for sure. Oh. So these are all head albinos? Yeah. And they have unique varying patterns? Yeah, they have gorgeous patterns. This one's eating like a champ? Yeah. I always want to kind of grab the top of the body and support it and then let it do its thing and get the back side. I feel like I'm gonna get nipped for this. You will. Well, the other one didn't nip me even though it kind of wanted to. Okay, I always bend it a bit. I put the pressure behind and because 
you need that pressure from that side so that they don't go up there and then start down there and that's like that's actually like a little bit of like musk it's like the oil it's a little bit different that's a male no no that's a male nope that's a female so see with the females they have the two parts that stick out too but they're just white they're like they're not penises they're just they have those two things but that is a female so it's tricky because both of them have the things that stick out but the males have a longer it's almost like a I don't know how to like those little toys <laughs> that's a female you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have got an albino in there if it wasn't head albino because it's already you already have a parent that is head that's unrelated so that's nice because you don't have to keep well if you were to keep a female albino and then breed him to that you would get all albino babies okay this one's eating good too yeah yeah see if you hesitate and stuff then they are more likely to bite you so that's how you do it gently from underneath even though i am constraining them and forcing them to like do whatever I have a way, I kind of get them in my palms, supporting the front part of their body. <laughs> I'm not, I am right-handed, but see, I try to get them kind of going into the hand here. So mm -hmm. I, I'm holding it from underneath. Then I'm letting this come here because I want to support it. I don't want to just grab it by the end of its tail. I want it to feel that support. I always get it upside down. It's wiggling, okay. And then I get that part right behind and I put pressure, for, I stretch it a bit, and I put pressure right under the hole, wipe away the piss, poo, whatever. That's totally normal. And then, grab it from further back and roll gently up. You got some more poop. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's a female. Okay. Yeah, that's a female. So it's it's a little tricky because it has those two things that stick out, but those are not winkies. Those are that's just its uh, vagina stuff. What are you waiting for? Do I it. Say we call just it? do it. Yes, you can. We call it a, uh, just a winky? do it. A winky and a what? A coochie. A coochie. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that's two females and two boys. Yep. But I just, I want to check this one one more time just to be sure. Because it is little, and I think it's a boy. But let's just make sure. It's so cute. Yeah. Buy this one now, it's the only one available. <laughs> Before he decides to keep it. Yeah, that's a boy. See that? Yeah. Do you see the difference? Now, now I want you to just watch the side, okay? Do you see that? How it's different? Yeah. Like you can actually see it right on this side, the other little pointy thing that's going to come out that comes out on the other ones. You see yeah. it on the side there, that little pointy thing? But the other ones didn't have the winky. This has a winky for sure. Yeah. Okay? Right. And that was super gentle. It, like the snake is fine. It didn't hurt it or anything. It's not even nipping us or anything. It, very good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very simple, very gentle. You just got to take your time, relax. You don't have to grab them and force them in place. You gently put them in your hand, secure them, and gently uh, push the tail. And that's Charlie. Go uh, subscribe to Charlie's channel. It'll be in the description below. Charlie raises the leopard geckos for me, and he has his own little projects. I focus on black African house snakes, but basically it's all the same thing. So check out that playlist. It's going to be on the screen right now. Click it before the five seconds go by and you miss your chance.